What does 15 million rand look like? Well, in the Walter Susulu local municipality, it looks like a ruined and destroyed stadium. Now, according to reports, the millions were allocated to build a stadium in the town of Burgersdorp, but there's nothing to show for it. So, where's the money? Our reporter, Ronald Masinda, is on that story and joins us now for an update. That's the important question here, Ronald Masinda. Where is the money if there's no stadium to show for the issuance of those funds? Good afternoon, Urofewa. Well, the locals here in Burgersdorp say that the Dani Craven Stadium is a shadow of its former self. They are telling us here on the ground that the stadium once hosted the New Zealand All Blacks back in 1971. It also hosted the British and Irish Lions back in 1980. 80. But what we are seeing here, Rofiwa, is a complete destruction. Uh, the walls and the, the fences have been vandalized. Uh, what we're also standing on is a tar, which is meant to be an athletics track. We also went inside the changing rooms, and they are in a completely poor state. What we We've learned is that in 2017, around 12 million rand was set aside for renovations at the stadium. Over 3 million rand was then uh, reallocated to fix the stadium back in 2019. But people here, community members say this is certainly not the money uh, that uh, was meant to be spent here and wasn't used in a correct manner. We are joined by a couple of guests. I'm going to bring in Marina Fansel. She is a local here in Burgersdorp and also a member of parliament serving the Democratic Alliance. Thank you so much for your time. When did the problem start? Well, it started back in 2017. Just imagine the excitement, Ronald, when they said, look, we're going to have a tartan state-of-the-art um, field and track for, for all the children. There's about 28 schools within Walter Sisulu District Municipality, or local municipality, and nothing happening. I mean, it was supposed to take only eight months, and what we see is complete disrepair. Um, it's been five years, and this project is still not completed. Who's responsible here? Okay, so um, the... the Accounting manager is the, the MM of the municipality and he's the one that is responsible for all projects and overseeing of that. But what you find is that it, the, the projects lie within infrastructure. Um, and I think therein lies the problem with a, a cater deployment, if you can call it that, because people don't have the correct qualifications or they have basic qualifications because it's based on a, a membership card rather than fit for purpose to do the job. Monitoring wasn't done properly, and as you can see, um, more and more money is going into this cash cow, and, and you know, what can you show for 15 and a half million rand? Mm. Finally, what steps will be taken from here on? Okay, so as the Democratic Alliance, I will be writing to the Hawks today to ask them to come and investigate exactly what has happened here with all the money. Um, and also my counterpart in Bishu, which is our legislature in the Eastern Cape, um, they will also be asking and probing questions. And they've also put on the table to actually blacklist contractors that are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. All right. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Lira Muliko, let me bring you in, sir. Lira Muliko is a community member here and has also served uh, the local municipality. Sir, thank you so much for your time. How bad is the situation here and are many children especially robbed of opportunities uh, to play sport in, in a conducive facility? Yes. No, the situation is very worse. It's worse in actual fact because uh, when we came here and uh, we confronted the council two years back, we said we want to make sure that the sports fields are open here and uh, all the schools in this area are suffering because we no longer host athletic, athletics matches as well as other sport codes. Mm -hmm. So we are frustrated as a community because the economy of the town is running down because of this. Uh, just very lastly, uh, from my side, in terms of what is taking place here, what could have been spent uh, with that amount of money, given that this uh, town also is grappling with uh, issues uh, such as unemployment and poverty? Many people could have uh, had jobs, for starters, but now nothing is happening. The contractors, I'm sure this is supposed to be the, the second or the third contractor that is coming here, but nothing goes on. We no longer play here, and the field is here.
All right. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. But hey, now, if I can bring you quickly in, just for the last uh, sort of uh, closing argument, you are the ward councillor here. Uh, who's responsible for this mess and what actions have you taken? Well, at this stage, uh, from our side as the uh, councillor, as the ward councillor, we are addressing this on the committee meetings as well uh, in council and, and putting pressure onto the council so that this can be finished, so that the community at last can have a, a track to run on uh, because uh, all the principals uh, as the ward council comes to me asking me what is going on here uh, and every time I have to have a different answer. So uh, we will take it further on uh, here so because we need a track uh, in Bergestorp as there is no track uh, and also for the region as there is no track in the region. All right, Mr. Nell, thank you so much for your time. We will continue our conversations here in Burgersdorp. We are hoping to speak to the municipality as well to give them a right of response.